Welcome to Awakening You channel. If you appreciate what we do, please support us. Thank you. Channel, Natalie Glass and greetings and love I, Lord Buddha, extend to you now. I come forth with the truth of my being, radiating also the truth of the Creator. Truth is such an important aspect of ascension at this time. You are being invited to recognize your own truth what your soul resonates with what your soul wishes to achieve or to access or bring forth. You are being invited to recognize the illusions held within your mind and also the truths that you hold onto, so that you can emerge with a greater connection with yourself, a greater connection with the Creator and a greater ability to recognize the truth, for you, in your current reality. The truth for someone else may be completely different. Truth doesn't have to be the same. Not everyone needs to hold the same truth throughout the entire world or even the entire universe of the Creator. The truth that you access is important for your soul, your reality, the perspective that you hold, the purpose and service that your soul wishes to bring forth, through you, and your own spiritual growth. Every soul upon the earth has a journey of truth, or with that truth, that is unique that is different and diverse. In ascension and spiritual growth, you are guided to accept to accept yourself, to accept your soul and soul group, as well as the Creator. Recognizing that everyone upon the earth and the inner planes is an expression of the Creator, you are being invited to accept those around you. Acceptance doesn't mean that you agree or disagree. It also doesn't mean that you judge or that you pretend to believe. It simply means that you value your own inner beliefs and truth and that you know and believe that these are appropriate for you, in this moment, and also that they may change, transform, or shift and that you will move with them. Acceptance is also that you allow others to be as they are, as they wish to be, in this moment. Even if you perceive that they are energizing illusions or creating chaos in their reality, or ignoring their truth, there is a need for acceptance that this is where they are in this moment. It does not have to be forever. With your acceptance comes unconditional love and support, allowing each expression of the Creator, including yourself, to have space space to explore, to experiment, to connect within and understand within. As you learn to recognize your own truth, and be accepting of others and their current moment in their reality, you allow space and momentum for the truth of the Creator to not only flow through your being, but throughout the earth and all beings. Today I wish to also speak of footsteps of truth. Now this requires you to adopt a perspective. It might be a perspective that you already hold. If that is the case then I, Lord Buddha, invite you to embody this perspective. You are an expression of the Creator upon the earth therefore you have access within your being, to the truth of the Creator, and it is born through you. Every soul upon the earth, every being upon the earth expresses the Creator through their body and has access to the truth of the Creator within their being. When we imagine this, in embodiment, it can shift the way that you see yourself and your capabilities and the way that you see others and their capabilities. If you imagine and know yourself as an expression of the Creator that you radiate the Creator's energy and truth you can recognize that your footsteps ground the Creator's energy into the earth. You can recognize that the footsteps of others ground the Creator's energy into the earth. We recognize that, through your feet, you can absorb Creator wisdom, knowledge, love and truth that have already been planted or anchored or grounded into Mother Earth. Imagine or sense or acknowledge that you truly believed in this perspective. Would you walk differently? Would you stand differently? Would you lie down on the earth in a different way? Would every footstep be joyous, awakening and enlightening? If you required wisdom or knowledge or truth, would you connect within and then go for a walk, being conscious of your feet and all that your feet were emanating and all that they were absorbing simultaneously? Would you recognize that truth is not only within you, but within Mother Earth within her soil, within her body? Would you recognize that every person upon the Earth is sharing a gift, an expression of the Creator that is creating a larger picture, a larger understanding and a larger essence of the Creator on the Earth? Of course, it is not only your feet but your entire physical body, 
but walking is something that you might do without even thinking, and therefore, I wish to bring forth a more conscious awareness of the exchange of truth through the feet, through the body, through the voice, through the eyes, even through hearing and through touch. There are so many expressions of truth. As you become more and more aware of the truth within you, the truth within others, the truth within Mother Earth, and you increase your sensitivity within your body, you allow yourself to gain a new perspective of truth and a new embodiment of truth that may come automatically and allow you to see yourself and the world around you differently. I invite you to contemplate my words and to awaken your own inner truth. I am Lord Buddha. I thank you.